All right, I'm live, and you just went in my video. Now everyone can hear you. It's all right. There's nobody else in here but me. Hmm. Okay. What's up, guys? Before I begin, don't forget to hit subscribe, smash that like button, and leave a comment in the section below because we are best bro videos. Had to get that plug in. Share with three other people if you want free merch. Maybe if I could get my son to make another video, this would be a whole lot cooler, but all right. Anyway, world geography, what is up? I'm all by myself, so I'm just going to talk because this will post for you guys to check out. Um, if you do end up joining or if you don't join and you watch this after the fact, feel free to leave a comment uh, on Google Classroom. Send me an email, Ritteram at MiddletownK12.org. Um, or you can comment in the YouTube uh, comment stream as well. I'll get a notification. So um, with that said, I'm sure you guys are aware. You've heard the news. We are out of school until through April 17th. So that's a week after we were supposed to come back from spring break. And um, the latest news sounds like we're going to be out for the entire month of April, although that's not official yet. Um President Trump and his medical team said that uh, it seems like we're going to have to stay uh, under this social distancing order through the month of April, if not through the month of May. So who knows what the deal is going to be. But this week is the last week of the third marking period. You guys are wrapping up your third marking period with your uh, postcard Earth Russia projects. So I just wanted to get on here, talk briefly about those projects. Uh, you guys know the deal. We've done these before, so there should be no surprises there. Make sure you obviously pick some type of creative platform to present your project. Um, and I really want you to focus on all the themes that we cover when we talk about Russia. Now, obviously, you're allowed to pick whatever location uh, you want. So I would say don't pick just Russia. Pick one of the republics in Russia. Pick one of the geographical features of Russia. Um, be creative. Just don't do Russia because that's pretty much what we covered already in this unit. So um, whenever you decide or whatever you decide to do for your project, think about the things we talked about. So chapter 15 was the uh, the physical geography of Russia. So, you know, what is the land feature? What is the land mass? What is the land area? What's it like? Uh, climate, vegetation, things of that nature. Uh, then include some information about chapter 16, which is the human geography of whatever location or geographical feature you're doing. What type of people live there? What are the cultures? What are the religions? What are the languages? What do the people do for a living? Things like that. And then lastly, chapter 17 is the issues that those people in that region, that area, that republic, uh, what types of modern day issues are they facing? So ideally, I'd like you to see, to see you incorporate all three of those components into your project. And uh, obviously, make sure your project looks like it has some time and effort put into it. Um, make it creative. Uh, Lucid Press and Canva all have great options for different project types that you can put together. That would be a good idea. It does need to be digital. Um, so, you know, don't do anything by hand and then just take a picture and send it to me. I do want it to be digital. I want it to be creative. I want it to be informative and I want it to cover um, you know, all the, the three components I just covered and the components that we've covered in class and uh, virtually since having gone virtually. All right. Um, that's due Friday by 11.59 p.m. That is technically the uh, last time to hand in any work for the third marking period because obviously the week after that is spring break. And then I have to have grades in by, I believe, the middle of the week after spring break. So, um That'll wrap up the third marking period. If you are missing anything, uh, I believe I've contacted everybody already uh, via email, um, via Google Classroom. I've left notes on PowerSchool for you to see when you look at your grades. If you are missing anything, please get them to me ASAP. Um, anything that was missed while we were out on virtual learning, 
I will take for full credit, even though it's late. Um, anything that was not turned in while we were in the classroom in school, I'll still take, but I'll have to take some late credit off of it. So, um, but make sure you get me it because anything's better than a zero. All right. Um, moving forward for the, for the fourth marking period, once we come back, I'm going to shift to a more project-based type of instruction and learning. Um, so the next unit we cover will be uh, more of a bigger project with smaller components built into it. And those smaller components will be considered kind of your, your daily or weekly assignments. Um, I think it's a little bit easier to operate that way because you guys are going to get pretty tired of me if you haven't already. Um, you know, going over PowerPoints, giving you stuff to read. Um, typical traditional classroom style stuff. So um, I'm going to give you a little bit more independence, a little bit more free time to work independently at your own pace. And I'll just assign some daily objectives to go along with the long term projects. Um, but we'll get into that more when we come back from spring break. For now, I just want you to spend this week focusing on what you need to get done, uh, not just for my class, but for all classes and uh, use your time wisely and put together a good project for me. All right. Um, keep watching the news. There's daily developments. Sometimes there's hourly developments and developments by the minute. Um, just to give you an update on my situation, I am obviously home, just like you. Um, my entire family's home, including my son, who's sitting across the dining room table from me doing his second grade homework, his classwork. Uh, my wife's in the big room. She's working from home. She's a paralegal, so she gets the big computer. Uh, my daughter's also home, but my mother-in-law has been doing a great job picking her up and taking her out and keeping her out of our hair. Um, cause she's only three and she's a little difficult to entertain while we all have to work and make videos like this. So, um, but we are all safe. We are all healthy. Uh, I actually ventured out of the house for the first time yesterday. Uh, that was the first time I left the house in about five days. I went to Costco. Uh, it was very surreal situation. Uh, obviously lots of people with face masks and gloves and social distancing requirements and whatnot. So uh, we are definitely living in a very strange world that doesn't seem to have any known end to it yet. So, um, but we are all good over here. So make sure you guys are staying safe, make sure you're staying healthy, make sure you're following the guidelines you're hearing on the news and doing your part because uh, while it may not seem like it's overly serious. It really is. We are still expecting it to get a whole lot worse before it gets any better. So um, do your part. All right. And if you have any issues, any issues whatsoever, if you can't hand work in on time, if your Wi-Fi is down, your Chromebook's not working, uh, whatever the situation may be, make sure you let me know. If you don't communicate with me, I have to assume you're not doing the work. And if you're not doing the work, then the new protocol is that I contact home and I contact guidance and let them know. Um, and they'll follow up and check in to make sure that you are okay. And you are in fact home and able to do the work and you're just not doing it. So if there's any issues, let me know, communicate that with me, you know how to get in touch with me. And um, the only academic updates I have for you is that they are no longer counting attendance. Uh, I don't physically have to take attendance on power school anymore. Uh, basically, if you don't hand in your work, then you are considered not academically participating. Um, so that's why I said make sure you hand in your work. And if you're going to be late in handing in your work, just let me know so that I don't have to go through the steps of contacting home and seeing where you're at and what's going on. So um, that and they changed the school day. Our school day starts at 8 a.m. and ends at 2 p.m. And essentially each block is an hour. So block one is from eight to nine. Block two is from nine to ten. Um Block three, four is from uh, where was it? 10 to 11 and 11 to 12. And then uh, block five is from 12 to one and block six is from one to two. Um, that doesn't mean you need to check in during this time, clearly, because I'm still the only one in this video by myself. Um, but what that does mean is that teachers have to make themselves available to you during their class period. So. I will make myself available to you every block two from 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. on A days uh, for any type of live videos, for any type of uh, Q&A, any type of Google Hangout, any type of emails, anything like that. Um, but your emails come right to my phone anyway. So if you don't catch me between 9 and 10, you can always uh, shoot me an email and I'll try my best to get back to you, uh, hopefully before 2 o'clock. But after 2 o'clock, I kind of shift into dad and CTR soccer director and Ritter rehab and best bro video. 
Mm -hmm. Um, so that's about it. So again, I hope you guys are staying well. Thanks to nobody for joining me in this video. Uh, next video, I'll be offering some extra credit for you jumping in here and commenting and joining. But right now, it's just me and this guy. <laughs> All right, Carter, what do we say? Subscribe to Best Pro Videos. Peace. <laughs>